page and this is my wonderful mother Sharon. Mama Sharon. <laughs> so today we're going to be decorating for Christmas. Y'all really enjoyed it when we decorated together for fall. This kind of just happened. She's here this weekend and I was decorating this weekend. Yes. Um, so she's going to help me out a little bit. Um, I don't know exactly all that we're doing. I do already have a tree up. I don't want to completely spoil um, the decor surprise. So you're not going to see everything in this video. So if you want to see how everything turned out, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified when the decor tour goes up because that's when you'll see everything in its fullness so you'll get his to see full how, glory. how everything turned be out like Carrie, his full glory so you'll be shook it <laughs> so make sure to leave us a comment down below of your decor style that you're going for this christmas i've been asking this question on my last couple videos i love seeing what you guys have planned for this year i just I think it's so cool to see that everybody loves all the different things and all the different ideas that you have. If you see something in this video that you like that I did mention where it was from, you can also ask that down below in the comments and I'll let you know if I know where it's from. But we're going to get started now. So, if you guys did not see, I did do a clean and undecorate with me. So I took all the fall stuff down. The living room's a mess right now, which is fine because we're getting ready to tackle all of this. But um, we brought down all the Christmas boxes. There's four here and then there's two back there, which those two just have a tree in them. So they technically don't really count. These are the ones that have all the decor in them. So right now, pretty much gonna do inventory, see what I have because I am doing a little bit different of a theme this year. So I wanna make sure that I have what I need and then I'll need to make a list of all the things that I need to be on the lookout for to purchase. But I do try to stick within pretty much the same like neutral stuff every year. So that if I do decide to change my mind with the theme, I don't have to buy a bunch of stuff. So we should have all the things that we need. So much. I hate to not put these out because I love them. I've loved them ever since I got them. <laughs> and didn't even know that I had got them. What did you put? Oh, you couldn't put none of them up there, could you? And do what? Just leave them sitting up there? Look, I even got small ones. I got big ones and small ones. I might have to put mm -hmm. some on this tree and then leave that tree. Like, if you put some on this, you have to put some on no, that. No, I don't. Okay, then. I don't know. We're gonna <laughs> I was going to put a million things on, on, that shelf. on that shelf, and then a thousand and one million things on the, on the entryway table. <laughs> so, do you want me to take something out and set it out? I don't know what to do. There's well, so much stuff. You want to look in here and see what um, we have? Put her book in there on her shelf. Yeah. Best time of the year. My head is totally cut off in this. But for any holiday decor is right after. I mean, if you feel like getting up and going to the store the day after a holiday, do it. Sometimes it takes like a couple days depending on what store you're going to. Hobby Lobby, I think sometimes is a couple days. I could be wrong, um, but you're gonna have to keep an eye on it. That's when I got all this stuff. And I knew regardless of the theme, this is just greenery and pine cones. This would go regardless, but those flowers. I know they would go with what I did last year, but I was gonna do something different this year. So I don't know what I wanna do now because I love those flowers and I got them like dirt cheap. I think I paid like a couple cent for them. So these had been $10 a piece and I probably paid a dollar maybe. And what are they? For these big ones. I probably paid like a dollar or two. Yeah, because they were- she didn't sleep. Yeah, when she sleeps, she, that part, I'm telling you, that first nap she takes- Is awesome. That's when you better get, you know what y'all to do? Here's all the Take a peach tree. Oh. Honey, I was about to buy another tree. Forgot I had a tree. Maybe you need to start taking a peach to what's inside of it and taping it on top of the box, then you'll know. What you just hear that? Start taking a picture, like an inventory of the box, and then tape it to the top of your box, and you know exactly what's in it. You heard it here first. Probably not. You're probably sent on Pinterest. We do it a lot in preschool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
How much was that animal? <laughs> Y'all, I keep pulling out stuff that I forgot I had. This was like probably 20 something at Disney. We got this last year. If y'all watched Vlogmas from last year, we went to Disney World and that's when we got this. Ain't it pretty? Is this a slim clear. tree or a full tree? It's a normal tree. What size? Seven. Least favorite part? It's fluffing. fluffing this darn tree out. Okay, before but we. But the good thing about this King of Christmas trees, they're easy to fluff. They're pretty easy because. We need to figure out where your piece is to hook it into all of them. That's oh, they got labels on them. No, I'm talking about the you. lights. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, We should have hooked that one too. If you see them, we're in. There's A. There's A. That I do every year I will take something whether it's a blanket or a towel and I will put it around the base of the tree before I put the tree skirt because that makes it fuller and the tree skirt doesn't just fall and just look kind of pitiful so that's something that you should definitely do it makes a huge difference Another tip for you if you like that snowy look on your tree and you're trying to figure out where we get all these things from which I have to replace these I just left them on there from last year these are actually dusters from Dollar Tree and they come in a pack of two they also come with a dusting wand stick thing but obviously you don't need that so you get two of these and here is the size of them so you get two in there for a dollar but something that I discovered last year when doing my mama's tree, we actually used um, like batting or pillow stuffing, which was a lot easier to work with and it's a lot cheaper because you get like a huge bag of it and you can just pull it apart and place it in the tree. So I think I might be getting some of that to go in the tree because it pretty much looks the same as this stuff does. And like I said, it's easier to work with. It's more movable and the pieces aren't as small because you can decide how long you want them. Those snowy pieces also make it really easy if your tree has any gaps in it. Maybe it's a tree that you've had forever and you were wanting a new tree this year but you just don't have it in the budget. I would definitely get some of this and you can just fill in those gaps so then it kind of doesn't look so sparse. 
and it just makes it look a little extra wintry when and you put festive. that in. So like if you had, if you can see these little holes, which these aren't really big, they aren't really big holes and it's just, it's all in a matter of how you fluff it too. But if you want to really make sure it's full and you cannot see inside, I would get some of the snow. The dilemma is I had an idea of what I wanted to do and then I started pulling out all my stuff and now I don't know if I want to continue to do that because I'm seeing all this beautiful red and cranberry and burgundy and I just want to do that and I, I do red every single year so I wanted to change it up this year. I was still going to do red I just weren't going to do as much. But now I don't know. I'm at a loss, y'all. Both would be pretty. It ain't like one's prettier than the other. But just how much effort do I want to put in is the question. I don't have the answer to that. in this base here and I, I'm not a fan now that they're in there. I thought I liked them but I think it's because I'm used to seeing something so much taller in this vase. I don't think it's I don't think it's high up enough. I don't know. I don't know. I'm at a loss. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about putting that next to that. And if I did, I would need that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a little annoying. If I don't put that there, I could put this big candle here, which smells amazing, by the way. It is the Sensational brand, which are the soy candles. So good. It reminds me of winter from Bath and Body Works. But this is a, how big is this? 26 ounce candle and it was $13. It's huge, it's called Northern Pine. If you see it at your home goods and you like the smell of winter from Bath and Body Works, I would highly recommend it. I don't think it's as strong as um, winter. So if you, if Bath and Body Works candles give you headaches, cause I think a lot of people say that cause they're so strong they give them a headache. I would try that one out. Plus I love that brand because they're made with soy instead of whatever normal candles are made with. So either I could put that there or that little tree that I just threw up there. Hold on. Or I could put this one over here with it because it's smaller. Yes, no? Yes, no, yes? 
can move this over here. Then again, <laughs> could put that there and then put that there. So I have a bunch of these that I got at the Christmas tree shop. And I think he was my tall thing that I had back there. Ain't he cute? I have him. And then I have this wooden one. No, I'm not pulling these stockings. Is you want me to put the stocking holders are inside of them. You want the stocking holders out? Yes, because I ordered new stockings. Can... Okay, so I gotta figure out if I'm gonna use these and if I am, where I'm going to put them. My current dilemma <coughs> is I have so many plaid and buffalo check things and I'm not decorating with that at all. So I'm kind of like, as far as everything else, I'm at a loss. We'll put your deer up there. I do think I might put this picture up there. <laughs> Glitter! I got this picture either last year or year before last at the hog log. So I'm gonna take these and somehow put them up here. We're gonna see how this goes. Y'all tell me what you think. <laughs> I decay. <laughs> these trees here for as long as I can remember a long time we got them from Hobby Lobby and I just added the berries into it it doesn't come with the berries and they sell these every single year sorry I have the burps <laughs> but you can um, if you like these you can go right in there and pick them up they have different size ones we got the same and I normally would put them up in the windows here but I did not last year. I don't know what I did with these last year, but I am going to use them because they go all the time. But I think I'm gonna actually take the berries off. Give this video a thumbs up if decorating makes you overwhelmed and makes you wanna pull your hair out. <laughs> because that's exactly what it does to me every single time. I gotta pull out all of these boxes and I see all the things that are inside of these boxes. It is so overwhelming. So if you feel the same way, you are not alone. I hope this gives you a little bit of, I guess, clarity, motivation, I don't know. Um, because this is a struggle. Because I know what I want everything to look like, but I have so much red stuff. I'm just like, do I just hide all this stuff away in a box and go buy all the things that i want or do i use these things and just make it work that's the that's the dilemma i face every single year because i'm cheap i know that people buy new decor every single year and they love it i just can't seem to make myself part with the money <laughs> because i'm just like i already have stuff so why do i get more stuff if it's still good but it's just not the theme that I wanted to go with this year, so I might end up getting some stuff if I can talk myself into it. Y'all know how hard it is for me to spend money sometimes. I have compiled a list of things on Amazon. I've made like a little Amazon list, little shopping list or whatever for really cute home decor that I found on Amazon. So I will link those down below. So if you need um, some new decor this year, you don't wanna have to go out to find anything and you love Amazon as much as I do, I will link that down below so that you can see all the goodies that I found to share with y'all because that's where I normally get all my pillowcases and stuff. So you'll be able to look at some stuff on there. But I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I just need y'all to wish me luck that I will be able to get a handle on this. And stay tuned for the tour of the Christmas decorations. So you can see how everything turned out. At this point, I have no idea what everything's going to look like. Maybe you'll get an idea from the tree. Maybe you don't because I don't even think anything's on this side of the tree. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. I'm trying to not be overwhelmed. I got this baby swinging behind me, so I'm going to try to get everything situated. Obviously, my brain's going a thousand miles a minute, so wish me luck, guys. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye!
his two sexy dancers here. 